Now, what's going on here is this is something quirky with floats. So we the the property is called float, and that's because they are literally floating where they are. And I know that's really confusing, and I don't even really have a way to best explain that. Um, but I'll show you how we get around that. And I mentioned earlier that you rarely are going to have a div that has nothing in it. Um, this is an example where an empty div actually comes in handy. So after our two columns that are being floated here on line 90, let's go ahead and create a div. And we're going to give it a class name. And we're just going to go ahead and call it clear. So let's go up here into our CSS and we'll go ahead and create another rule. And we'll use the clear selector. So dot clear because it's a class. And this is going to take one property. That is clear, colon, and we can do left, right, or both. Just to put it simply, what this is going to do is allow this wrap here to clear the float. As in, it's going to go past these floats. And again, I know it can be really confusing. Maybe you get it. Uh, it's, a, it's taken me a long time to get my head kind of wrapped around it. Um, but it's just, it's a thing you have to do and it's good to know. So now when we go ahead and take a look at our page, there we go. So now we see that our, our little bounding box here around our wrap is going past the float. So just, uh, you know, commit that to memory because when you start using floats, this can be a really frustrating uh, issue to deal with and quite frankly discouraging too. Um, once you've gotten used to this, it's just going to be second nature and you can, you can fly through this stuff. So now that we have that in there, let's go ahead and add our footer tags. And again, we're going to do those within our, our wrap to kind of keep it contained. And in here, we'll just do a paragraph tag. Save this and take a look. There you go. So again, um, the footer tag, like the div and the header tags, don't really have any properties. So maybe a little deceiving that it's not showing up down at the bottom of the page where you would expect a footer to be. Now it is at the bottom of our code, but that just means it's going to show up after the last element on the page above it. So. I want to do other things to get that to show up at the bottom.